All right, hi, welcome to Color Up. Today we're going to cover the three-point Molly Don't, or the three-point Don't. What we're gonna do is place a Don't Pass and follow it up with two Don't Come bets. We're gonna to try to have a maximum of three Don't Come points working at all times. And then we're also gonna follow it up with maximum odds. We're playing at a three, four, five times odds table because that's kind of the standard in most places you go. <clears throat> What's nice about the don'ts is that's really easy to remember. Three, four, and five times odds. All you do is multiply your flat bet by six times. So in, our, in this case, at a $5 table, multiply it by six, our odds are gonna be $30 for all of the numbers. How that's gonna pay us back is two to one on the four and 10. So $30 in odds is gonna pay us $15. On the five and nine, the odds are three to two, so our $30 bet's gonna pay $20. And on the six and eight, the odds are six to five, so our $30 bet is gonna pay $25. Okay, with this strategy, play in max and mods, we're gonna need a little bit bigger of a bankroll. So we're gonna bring $300. Got some $25 chips here. So we're gonna start with $300, we're gonna run through it once, and then evaluate where we're at at the end. All right, the puck is in the off position. New shooter, $5 minimum don't pass bet, and we're coming out. Okay, seven, that's gonna be a loser on the don't, on the come out roll. Another $5 minimum don't pass bet, we're coming out. All right, a 10, the dice rolled, but it was a 10. So let's put down our $30 in odds. Remember, uh, for, for the odds, we're gonna do six times our flat bet. So six times five is 30, so that's gonna be our odds. Let's put out a don't come bet. We're gonna try and get three working for us. And here we go. Nine. So the dealer's gonna move this up to the nine. Put down your 30 in odds and ask them to put Odds on your don't come nine. Place them up there for you. Let's put out another don't come bet. And let's go. All right, 10. So the shooter hit his point. Uh, this don't come is gonna travel up to the 10. This we're gonna lose. Let's go ahead and put our odds on our 10. Now the puck is off because the shooter hit his point. So on the come out roll, our, our flat bet is working, but our odds are off. So if he does roll a seven, we will win these, but we won't win our odds. And likewise, if we hit the nine or 10, we'll lose our flat bet, but we won't lose our odds. So let's go ahead, because the puck is off, Put a don't pass bet down, and here we go. All right, at 12. 12 is a craps, but on our layout, it's bar 12, so that's a push for us, so it's not gonna do anything. Five. So the shooter makes a five, so let's back it up with odds for us. These are odds for the seven, that we wanna see the seven. And here we go. All right, dice off the table. No roll. 11, it's not gonna affect us. Six, not gonna affect us. Now the nice thing about this a don't strategy is a seven's gonna win all of our bets, but if we hit a nine or a 10 or a five, we'll only lose one of these at a time. Or if you're playing the dues, a seven's gonna wipe out all of our bets. So it's kind of nice in that aspect. Four. Seven. So that's a great roll for us. That's gonna win everything. Okay, our five is three to two. So you're gonna get paid one to one on your flat bet and you're gonna get paid 20 uh, for your odds. 
Same with your nine. It's going to come down. You get paid five for your flat. 20 for your odds. Now your 10 is two to one. So that's going to come down. You get paid five for your flat. And 15 for your odds. So it's a pretty nice score for us. Puck's going to come off. Shooter seven out, so it's going to be a new shooter. Let's go ahead and put our don't pass down. And we're coming out. Dice off the table, no roll. All right, 12 craps. It's bar 12, so nothing happens here. All right, three craps. It's going to be an automatic winner for us. Still looking for the shooter to make a point. Five. Okay, points five. Put down our 30 in odds. Put down a don't come bet. Four. This is going to travel to the four. Ask the dealer to put odds, odds on our four. He'll move them up. Let's make another don't come bet so we can get three points working. Four. So we're going to lose our four here. This is going to travel to the four. Let's get our odds for the four. Dealer will move it up. And let's get our don't come bet. Eight. Don't come's going to travel to the eight. Go and put our odds out for the eight. Dealer will put it up for you. We got three points working again for us. So now we want to see that seven. Ten. Five. So we're going to shoot or hit his point. That's going to knock us off the five. So this is going to lose. Uh, we have enough for another don't pass bet. We're not going to have enough for full odds. Eight. Okay, with the eight, remember um, our flat bet is working, but our odds are off. So the puck's going to move to the eight. He's going to return your flat bet to you, and you're going to lose your eight. All right, we don't have enough to place full odds or even um, we'd need, we need, our minimum odds would be $6 to win $5. We could pull for our winnings, but we're just gonna let this ride as it is. We have our point of four working for us. Let's hit our seven. Nine. Seven, there it is. That's what we wanna see. Shooter seven and out. You're gonna get paid one to one on that flat bat. Your four, gonna get paid off in the come. One to one on your flat. Two to one, 30 wins 15 on your four. We've went once through our rack, so let's count it up, see where we're at. This I know is 100. We're at 200. Yeah, 200, 25, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85. So 285, we're down $15. 
All right, another strategy where I fail to show you a winning effort, um, but that's how it goes. You win some, you lose some, and I just want to show you how it works either way. And this time we came up a little bit short. That's the gambling. Um, I hope you had a good time watching. I wish you better luck than I had here today. Until next time, good luck on coloring up. <music>